Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Ring of Red. Um, this episode, we are going to go ahead and start the Jun route of things. I I would have to say that if you do watch the Ayana route, you'll notice this stage is basically identical between the two. In fact, they are completely identical. But uh, how long you take to complete this stage will determine what stage you get afterwards. In particular, I believe it's if you pass the 36-hour mark, you'll get the Ayana route. And if you do it before then, you get the Jun route. So, we're going to go ahead and jump right into the stage. Before that, though, I want to make sure that I put wire on John. Okay, I did. I was fairly certain I had wire on John. Um, you definitely, probably, if you're going to do this the way I'm about to do it, want to make sure John has that. On deck of the landing craft, the White Whale. Way, we're finally setting foot in North Japan. Yeah. Wait, you know what an anti-AFW is? I haven't actually tested it, but I've heard rumors about it. It's the next generation AFW, right? Of course, the current AFW is supposed to be King of Land Warfare. The only weak point is its inability to adapt to close-range combat. The anti-AFW is a serious fighting machine. As its name suggests, it's an AFW killer. Well, I think I've worn out my welcome here, so I'll go make preparations for landing. So, what's up with you in this anti-AFW? Just forget it. Wait, wait! Masami! I see land! We're gonna be landing soon. Check your AFWs. Ryoko, remember what we were talking about a little while ago? What are you doing about those anti-AFWs? Not much. I thought I asked you not to talk about that anymore. I know your machine is an AFW outfitted for close combat, but what's with you and anti-AFWs? I said forget it, didn't I? You guys are having a lover's quarrel just as we're about to land? Enough jokes, Johnny boy. Some people aren't lucky enough to have the luxury of lover's quarrels. Just think of all the lovers, families, and relatives separated by the North-South Division. The tragedy of a divided country. Sounds really hypocritical coming from someone who wasn't there, so why don't you just cut it out? You talk as if you, you yourself were there, poser. Didn't you hear me? I said shut up! Hey, Masami, you know how women are. Just shut up and let it drop. I guess you're right. Captain, stand by to land. Man your AFWs and prepare to land. Oh man, it's good to be back on solid ground again. Are you in the Marines? Thought you were supposed to be used to the ocean. Yeah, but I haven't been riding anything but AFWs lately. I've got my sea legs back yet. Hey! Looks like the taxis are going back. They might be carrying guards. We got to be real careful on the perimeter. It's an interesting statement, though. It, it's they might be carrying guards, and they're talking about the boats that just dropped us off. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Victory condition: occupation of the enemy base or annihilation of all enemies. Loss condition, destruction of Weisiger's AFW are going off the after the going over the day three one hundred hours time limit. Mission stopped. Captain, it looks like we were somehow spotted by the enemy coast patrol. They're not gonna let us pass by, I guess. We're not gonna run away, eh, Masami? Of course not. To your AFWs, we're going to eliminate resistance and attack. This is why we geared Masami for anti-infantry combat. I, I've never been able to get a turn before this unit gets to you. Enemy attack! Surprise attack from the south! And... We're okay with that now, though. We got illumination shot. We got anti-infantry troops. The enemy has attacked. Return fire.
may be the first instance of the enemy ground troops having access to Illumination Shot. The downside of having a ground troop use it instead of a crewman use it is that it doesn't last the entire combat. At least as I recall, it doesn't. And you also give up another potential frontline skill. But on the plus side, you open up extra crew skills for you, or crew shells for you. So it's, it's an interesting uh, choice to have to make. On the plus side, you will also won't ever run out of ground troop uses of the skill, whereas sh crew shells you can't run out of. So we don't have access to his infantry right now. We're going to go ahead and take a shot at his machine. And I think I saw a blinking that indicated his ground troops. Yep, they're moving forward. And I believe our ground troops are... Oh, one of them is. Let's get the other one up. Okay. Ground troops are ready to move forward. I half, I half want to delay it so that I can get my shot off before he has the opportunity to pull back, but he might just pull back his troops right out. You know. Oh, no. He's taking aim at us. Cool. We got full XP for taking out those ground troops. I was afraid he would pull back his ground troops before focus fire went off and before uh, we got an opportunity to take aim. Yep, that should be the end of them. Yes, indeed. Um, we could hold our fire until the end here. And hope we get the best accuracy, but he was already taking aim. Didn't really want to risk that. Wow, he took some abuse. Well, Tron's going to have an easy time picking this off. Despite the enemy getting the jump on us in this map, it's actually really set up in our favor. Because we're in range of two of their units. They're both going to move forward and attack, but the units they're going to attack are Wei and uh, Kinasato. And both of these characters are all about taking out their infantry for us. Rapid fire cooperation is a pretty deadly combo. Something else that's kind of notable about this mission, we haven't seen it just yet, but it will show up very shortly. This is the first mission where the enemies really have notable infantry skills deployed with them. In particular, there are enemy units that are using the rapid fire focus fire combination that uh, we so love. And having that deployed against you is, is kind of vicious. It does slow down things a little bit once they start showing up. We did 
did some serious damage to them. Kept the bolt down to about a third. Ooh, maybe less, actually. Maybe that's closer to a quarter. It's a little harder to tell. Six damage isn't very much, but we still have our anti-troop fire, so this will clear him out. That's all the infantry down. Fully pull back our ground troops. Um, actually, Kinosato's ground troops aren't really going to be in the danger that Ways are for this mission, so. They might absorb some fire from this AFW, but that's not going to be too big an issue. Let's go ahead and just plink down some extra damage. Oh, especially if he shoots at me instead of them. Alright. Well, we're just going to go ahead and wait till the one on the timer to shoot then. We might even get lucky and score hit on his weapon or his leg. Not that it really matters too much. Ryoko is going to destroy this next turn. Alright, and that is the end of this round. And that will be the end of this video. I hope you join me in the next episode as we continue this mission.